Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited today. I'm going for overall win number 1001. Had a great day getting win number 1000 at Kooky Canuck in downtown Memphis with this man, Mr. Magic Mitch Dombrowski, and then our friends Ramsey and Natter. They already went home, but I am here with Mr. Mitch. A lot of you guys already know him. If not, check out his videos. The links are down in the description, but uh, he is from where? Green Bay, Wisconsin. All right, and how many wins, roughly? Nearing the 400 mark, actually. Yes, he has been doing challenges for a long time, but we are both back in South Haven, Mississippi. We have lots of people here, which is much appreciated. I was here at Maria's Cantina in South Haven a long time ago for their burrito challenge, but we are each here for the first time at 10th Inning Sports Bar and Grill in the Snowden Grove area of South Haven. It's called the 10th Inning Baseball Theme because it is right by Snowden Grove, which is a whole bunch of baseball fields, but we are here hoping to become like the sixth and seventh people to dominate their Showstopper Burger Challenge. Now, we each have only 30 minutes to finish these massive burger sandwiches along with the side. So there are four half pound beef patties sandwiched in between five grilled cheese sandwiches. So each beef patty has two slices of cheese, one white American, one yellow American, and then each grilled cheese sandwich also has one slice of white American and then one slice of yellow American. So I think that's like 18 slices of cheese, so much calcium today. And then each beef patty also has two slices of bacon. Think that's enough bacon? Oh no, you need a little bit more than that. We could have gone with either a side, a basket of tater tots, french fries, or onion rings. We both went with their hand dipped onion rings. So. 30 minutes to finish. If we fail, it's gonna be $30. But if we win, we will get our meals for free. We will get sweet t-shirts and hats. And we'll have our names and photos added up on the Wall of Fame. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right, let's get this challenge started. Woo! All right, we are both hungry and ready to dominate today coming off a very fun night on Beale Street last night in downtown Memphis. Big thank you to everybody here with 10th Inning Sports Bar and Grill for having us in to do this showstopper challenge. Our friends Joel, Raina, and Brandon, they've all beaten this in addition to a few other people. Raina's got the record, which is like a minute 55. We are not trying to beat that. We're just gonna beat it within the 30 minutes and aggressively enjoy this thing. But Mitch, you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. One. Two, three, Ooh. boom. All right, we are on. I think I'm just gonna break this down and eat it as I go. The record is about to pass in a little bit, but please realize it was all with dunking and all kinds of craziness, which we don't do on the champ. If I dunked like Proto, I'd already be done, but we're not. Rain and Joel and Brandon are all very fast when they want to be. I'm gonna have a grilled cheese with the burger. Very good bacon, I'm enjoying this. And I did forget earlier, this is not required, but I am enjoying a Memphis made fireside. Not my first one, this stuff's delicious.
You enjoying it? Good? Mm -hmm. I need some tomato soup. Tenth inning's been open since 2019, and I think they've had this challenge since. Yeah, many people have tried, only about five, six winners. So we're hoping to be on the wall of fame with that elite group. Nine minutes and 50 seconds in, we are kicking butt. I'm trying to imagine myself doing this all in one minute and 55 seconds, and I just can't. This challenge is low in saturated fat and salt, so it's all good. 13 minutes, 20 seconds in. Done with the burger. The fries here are hand cut, I hear, and then the onion rings are hand dipped. I love onion rings. Do you like onion rings? Yeah. Yes, let's enjoy them. We actually might be going to the dip in uh, Hernando. I've done two challenges there and I've never been there just to eat normal human food. So I am uh, probably gonna get some ice cream to fuel my ride tomorrow. We started together, we gotta finish together. Oh, very good job. Magic Mix. Thank you guys all for being here. Ah. 17 minutes and 42 seconds, yes. Just shy of the record, almost had it. Mitch, what do you think? Awesome, awesome challenge. Loved it all. The grilled cheese, the bacon, the burgers, and then finishing off the onion rings. Excellent. Yeah, I was happy that we had different cheeses on there. The white American and the yellow American. And the bread was great, but enjoyed the bacon. It added really good flavor. It was fun to eat that. And then I enjoyed the hand-dipped onion rings. So yeah, we are each going to get our $30 meals for free. We will get sweet t-shirts and hats and we'll have our names and photos added up on the Wall of Fame. It was overall win number 1,001, and then one of the many, almost 400, for Mr. Magic Mitch. As many of you know, Magic Mitch started years ago with me back in 2013, doing all the editing. He's been on pretty much all of the major tours with me. He's just been a big reason why we are at where we are uh, with social media, YouTube, Facebook, everything like that. So much appreciated. I was happy to have him at win number 1000 yesterday. Check out his social media. The links are down in the description. But yeah, got a couple more coming up in Tennessee the next few days. Again, this is a Memphis made fireside. Thank you guys all for being here. I appreciate it. And thank you guys all for watching Nostravic.